All right, excellent. Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Kylie Johnson. I'm our Green Learning Station Coordinator. We're going to talk a little bit about um, our waste system here in the United States specifically. Um, so all across the world, we all have a similar issue with our waste. So most of the things uh, that we're wasting are going directly to a landfill that and then it's just buried there and it sits there um, forever. And this is a very linear system and it's a problem because there are so many people on our planet and that number continues to go up and the amount of waste per person continues to go up as well. Uh, so you can see my statistic here, almost five pounds of waste is produced per person a day compared to just 1.8 pounds 45 years ago. So we've really become this disposable economy. A lot of that has to do with our plastic waste, which we'll cover in our next class. Um, so I wanna take a look at our municipal solid waste uh, sent to the landfill. Um, this is based off of 2018, because that's the most current statistics we have for the United States. So outside of this pie chart here, we recycled about 69 million tons. Um, and that is a pretty low rate. So the recycling rate was just 32.1% in 2018, and that was down even from 2015, which was 34.7%. But if you look at all these materials here that are sent to the landfill, you can see a big portion of that ch pie chart is materials that could be recycled, like plastics, metal, glass, and paperboard. So we wanna make sure that we're increasing our recycling rates. And so those are all your recycling materials that are gonna to go to um, our recycling facility. But let's talk about food, because if you look back at this pie chart again, you can see that food and yard trimmings make up the largest portion of our waste stream. And in fact, here in the United States, 40% of food is wasted, whether um, it's during uh, the growing period or the shipping to the store or it sits in the back of your refrigerator and it's forgotten about. Um, so we, we certainly have a big problem with food waste. And it's, can, it's predicted to increase uh, by 44% by 2050. So this is something we really need to get under control. And if you were in our Sustainability 101 class, you know, we talked about Project Drawdown, uh, the 100 top solutions to climate change and reducing food waste was the third most important solution for uh, reversing climate change. So we have a big opportunity here to make a difference. So how can you do that? So you can obviously do some simple things that probably seem common sense, like uh, planning your meals out and shopping smart. Understanding date labels is one that's very important because uh, manufacturers have these labels on there that indicate peak quality, but it's not safety. The only exception for that is infant formula. You definitely want to follow uh, what the date label says for infant formula. Otherwise, everything else is more just about freshness. Um, so if it says that um, your sell by date for your milk was last week, just make sure that you test it out and drink it or try to smell it uh, before you throw it out because most likely it's probably still good. And then another great thing you can do is making make sure that you're storing your food properly. So this picture here, uh, again, HamiltonCountyRecycles.org. So beyond uh, reducing the amount of food waste that you have, another great thing that you can do is compost. And composting is really important for a number of reasons, but one of the most important reasons is that we really need to be taking care of our soil. Scientists say that we only have 60 harvests left before we run out of soil, which is extremely alarming to hear. But the good news is that compost can really help rebuild our soil, and it has a number of other fantastic benefits as well. So one, reducing landfill waste, which is very important since landfills are the third largest emitters of methane gas, which is contributing to climate change, and also since we're running out of landfill space. Uh, compost also helps improve essential soil nutrients. It's fantastic at helping with water retention and erosion control, suppressing soil borne diseases. And then finally, again, uh, sequestering that carbon in the soil. And added bonus with all of this, composting is gonna save you money. If you have a garden or a lawn, um, it's gonna save you on fertilizer costs, on water costs since it's so good with water retention. Um, you can use it for mulch. 
and it will save you on your garbage bill as well if you have a, a pay per bag uh, model where you live. So what is composting? If you're not familiar with it, it's essentially the natural process of decay where you're uh, transforming organic waste into a valuable black uh, material called black gold. So you're taking things like grass clippings and food scraps and leaves and you're turning it into this nutrient rich soil amendment. Where we have classes at the Civic Garden Center that teach you all the ins and outs of composting. So we're not gonna dive too deeply into it. Um, I'm actually teaching a, a backyard composting class in April if you're interested in uh, taking a look at that. But there are lots of different options for having a structure. You can have just a pile, you can have wire bins. Uh, the one bin system there in the middle, middle is certainly a favorite, especially if you live in an urban environment. If you have a lot of space, uh, a two to three bin unit is ideal because you can have multiple stages of composting going at the same time. And then finally, a tumbler option is great too. It um, actually speeds up the composting process so you can get compost a lot quicker. Um, it does take a little bit more maintenance and uh, regulating for that, but it's also nice because you don't have to shovel it as much, you just have to turn it. If you want to uh, get creative, you can take on vermicomposting, which is uh, composting using tropical red worms. So the worms are doing all the work in the decomposition process. So you can have something called a worm factory you see on the left there, which has different trays uh, where the worms go through the trays and the compost sifts down through when it's finished. And you can see it has a little nozzle um, on the end so you can actually create your own compost tea, which makes a great fertilizer for your plants. Or you can go be really simple and use a Rubbermaid tote. You can uh, DIY your own bin. And uh, we have one of these at the Civic Garden Center that we take to classrooms. Finally, if composting just doesn't seem like your thing, but you still want to help uh, reduce your food waste and recycle your food scraps, have a lot of drop off locations. They'll give you the bucket, all the materials, and then come pick it up and haul it away for you.